Okay, I just cut this little half pounder, a little deformed bass. Okay, his tail looks broken. <clears throat> anyway. Are you sure he's. Yeah, he swam off. Give it back to him. Another little, little half pounder, maybe. Um, by the way, the hair goes. That last bass and this bass were caught on the Zoom um, finesse worm and watermelon candy. Get back to you. Love the little dink there. All dinks today, I guess. Same little worm. Zoom finesse worm, watermelon candy. There it goes. Cast it right along the edge of the sand here and I hit immediately. Get back to you. Cut a nice big old red ear, a dark colored fish. My shoe's 11 and a half inches. This guy is <clears throat> probably about 10. Let's see? About there. Straight across. Yeah, probably 10, 10 and a half inches. Pretty big one. They're spawning right here, so. <clears throat> there it goes. Get back to you. Caught another one of those weird looking fish I caught a couple weeks ago. There it goes. Nice bluegill. Goes. Nice big color for bluegill. There he goes. Alright, guys, so just caught this big paper turtle. My worm there. I was reeling in, I guess it snacked him in the foot or something. It's a big old paper turtle. I'll let him go now. He's gone. Good thing it wasn't in past the barb. Just pulled right out. Thank goodness. Good back to you. Alright, guys, if, um, if, you, if you don't have a mineral trap with you, I don't have one with me right now because I'm at the lake here and I have to ride my bike so it's really tough to get a minnow trap here. Anyway, if you don't have a minnow trap and you want to catch some bait for bass or catfish even, um, use a little rod and reel. I'll show you if I can find it. Right about here. See how small that hook is. And look at that. I just put a itty bitty piece of that, those goat night crawlers, and caught these two. Almost caught a third. Here's the bigger one. Oh. And you may be thinking, if that's the bigger one, how small is the smaller one? He's probably, this one's probably two inches. Here's the smaller one. He's probably an inch and a half. Look how small he is. Perfect. Hook him by the tail, throw him out on bobber, and might catch some bass or something. Look at that. Look how small their mouth is. Little hook's perfect. Anyway. Another big one. Pumpkin seed. Catching a ton of them on grubs, but I'm only showing you the big ones. Bunch of baby bass. Here he goes. Uh, almost ten and a half inch panfish right there. Huge. Look at that. That's a big one. Alright. There he goes. Alright guys, right. Ooh, there's another good sized bluegill. Wow. But anyway, just cut a nice little one pounder on a little crappie jig, basically. Yep, and these are making crappie jigs, not by bleach. Me. There he goes, right on, back under where I caught him. Be back. Alright, little tiny half pounder. We're again at this little small pond. He just had a bass, but he dropped it in the weeds. And again at this beautiful little small pond here. There he goes. Um, where's the lure? A little baby brush hog in a pumpkin color, zoom. Bet you. Really skinny little bass here. Well, what they caught it on. Caught it on. There he goes. Baby brush hog pumpkin. Let's swim right in the same spot. Bet you. All right. Nice three quarter pounder bass. Pounder bass. I am a genius. But um, anyway, right in here by the bush there, I had him on once, but he spit it. Caught him again on the zoom baby brush hog. Pumpkin color. There's a relief gas. He's gone. Yeah. Back to you. All right, that's like a nine and a half to ten inch big pumpkin seed. I just caught him, but he sold him. I was calling my mom and uh, 
I casted this in right before I did, and I had a fish, so I had to like basically drag it up on shore, and then he grabbed it in shore. Tiny little white beat, like little grub there. Throw him in. I'm gonna go swim with this. Okay. Come on, buddy, let's go swim. Anyway. There he goes. Well, he's gonna release him and get back to you. Fish in again today, same little blue and white crappie jig with the white jig head. Nice 10 inch, big old pumpkin seed there. Yeah. There he goes. Give us, hopefully, we can get some more. Alright, just like a 7 inch red ear, but he's really. They're not really tall, you know, or thick. They're just long. 7 inches, but not really good sized. Get back to you. Aggressive little warm mouth. He slammed it right underneath that boat there. There he goes. Get back to you. way down on